happening, y'all? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, bringing you all with another next-gen Diecast review, courtesy of our good friends from Circle B Diecast. Make sure to use that promo code OBBYT to get $5 off of shipping on your next purchase, and make sure that is going to be $30 or more, because otherwise that's going to be a no-go. But today, it's going to be on a Diecast. I think a lot of people were really looking forward to uh, get this Diecast, and it's actually a brand new release that you can get at your local Diecast dealers. But I picked up the metal chassis version because, heck, the Black Friday deal, $8.50 for this bad boy with the metal chassis. I must say, that's probably the deal of the year. Uh, and it is on. Get your mooses out for this one, guys. This is Ross Chastain's 2022 BeAMoose.org. Uh, Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 1LE for uh, track house racing, but this is no ordinary track house car. No, this is not his Martinsville, uh, you know, uh, Checkers Records car, which, by the way, that is the top selling diecast for this year, which is pretty darn cool. I mean, probably the one only time we're going to see Ross Chastain actually have the best selling diecast for this year. But as you can see, this is his uh, on his second cup win, which came at Talladega. Now, I know it's kind of, it, 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 it seems kind of like, I don't know, me being out of order, and I probably should have reviewed his Coda win first, but you know what? A lot of people wanted me to go ahead and review this car, and there's probably for a lot of good reasons, because this paint scheme absolutely kicks ass. I mean, how can you not like that little moose right there? I mean, look at that bitch right there. He is so eager to go ahead and get this die cast out of its box, and let's get on to the official review as we're going to unbox this bad boy, and let's take a close look at the Ross Chastain 2022 Talladega race win. And alrighty guys, we got this diecast out of this box, and uh, I guess you could say we're going to be all a bunch of mooses up in this bitch, but uh, <laughs> for real guys, um, what a cool looking paint scheme guys, I mean, if you guys compared the uh, Be A Moose car from uh, his uh, Chip Ganassi uh, days, which was just, you know, the one and, uh, the one and done cart that he drove uh, last year, um, it is a lot less colorful compared to this year's. This year's, they really went all out with the transition uh, from red to black. And this is just an absolutely cool paint scheme. Now, I will say on a disclaimer, guys, that this is, um, they did offer the Moose Fraternity card, like the clean version, but uh, once Ross Chastain, you know, crossed, uh, you know, the checker line uh, at Talladega, um, Lionel kind of made a bold decision and said, hey, you know, I don't think people are really going to buy the clean version, so they're going to, they, they canceled that, and they mostly, they mostly canceled all those pre-orders, and they just basically made the Talladega race win, basically, up for pre-order, which I know a lot of people don't really like, uh, you know, race win die cast, because, you know, some people don't really want confetti on their car, but you know what, man, this is still a really cool car, uh, regardless of not, and another thing I've noticed as well, guys, I mean, I think it looks like that uh, Lionel's kind of listening to us a little bit when it comes to the wheels, because if you guys look right here, we got ourselves, uh, you know, that metallic, uh, what, like, glitter, uh, it's kind of like a gunmetal finish, basically, that we saw in the Hedrick cars uh, when they first got released, but looks like that's, I believe it's supposed to be the right color, I think, for uh, all the next-gen diecast, um, because before they just painted them black, which wasn't really accurate, um, but I'm kind of glad that they're putting some detail to that now. And these are actually pretty nicely painted. I will say that. There's no, like, big glops like we usually do before. So, good job of lining up for that. Well, this should be because this is a $15 car. Because you see we got the metal chassis. Um, I just can't think Circuit Diecast enough for that amazing deal. Because I know I'm not a big fan of the metal chassis diecast. Um, but I'm hoping next year they can bring back the rubber tires. And bring in a little more features. Since, you know, the ARCs are going to be $11 next year. But getting back to the diecast, guys. I mean, we're going to go into the nice fine details with the Moose Fraternity car. Um, you see right there the nice transition, but yeah, this is one, uh, nice little, uh, dirty son of a bitch, guys, I will say that, um, it looks like we do got some paint chips right there, but I'm not really too worried about paint chips anymore, there are a lot worse things in a Lionel diecast, uh, besides paint chips, um, looking at a UPTC mold car, um, I probably got a good feeling that we're probably going to see this diecast or probably the Coda win in a future NASCAR Authentics Wave just because, you know, Ross just seems a pretty, you know, pronounced driver now in the Cup Series, especially being the Final Four. But you see there's a little uh, fine details to see where the grill uh, where the grill is right there. Um, just really nice. I mean, I can't get enough how cool looking some of these race win diecasts look. And this one in particular, I mean, it is pretty uh, much on the clean side, but still looks really nice. I mean, I do love the number placement. That looks really nice. And the little moose that's in the background and see all the, all the other sponsors right there. As I'm saying, it like race day 2011. And we got the Melon Man right there, Ross Chastain, and his one race winner sticker. Um, you see right there, there's the, uh, you know, I believe that's supposed to be, um, don't know what the title sponsor was for the Talladega race. It's usually Geico, but I'm assuming it's probably something different unless it's still there. Um, I see the nice blue and white confetti pieces, which are just only up on top. So this car is not really littered with confetti. Um, we do got a little bit of a wrinkle right there where the moose logo is, but you know, it could be a lot worse. At least not on the moose. I mean, if they did my boy dirty, all right. Uh, I feel like what, what, what should we call this moose? I don't know. I'm going to call him like Dutch. 
like uh, from Red Dead, you know. Plus, I'm getting out. I, I, I just realized like this kind of gives me like a little bit of Red Dead vibe, you know, looking at the the background of this car. Um, we got beamoose.org. Um, and you see the, all the other sponsors we've got right there. I mean, I could read them off, but you know how my diecast views are. If you can see the logos, then I don't have to do that job for y'all. But you see a little bit of a residue right there on the back quarter panel, and it looks like some more fuel residue. I really like these little fine details. Um, you see the little rivets right there for the rear window. It's a little bit of a paint blemish right there, but but heck, thing, things could be a lot worse, right? Um, and there's the nice little uh, details on the side skirts. I mean, that's something you don't really get on a standard uh, 164. And on the back, we got ourselves a nice plain black with the Moose Fraternity sponsorship. And uh, what do you know? Some more Mooses. <laughs> and it's slightly cockeyed, and we got some more, uh, you know, pretty badly... Uh, vampire fangs paint chips right there but uh heck i could get my sharpie and just you know do that work for y'all and this side besides the sponsor uh, i believe uh regarding the sponsors should be the same otherwise nascar be up there asked to be like hey you know these uh, this car is not symmetrical fix it but you see the boost logo right there i mean this this moose logo is completely um i believe that's just all like five that's just uh I'll just uh, like you know, shred, shredded pieces of tire of that because you know Ross just ain't really burned the sun bitch at Talladega. Um, would it be kind of cool if they actually had like uh, little pieces of watermelon actually uh, get off the car? I mean, I know he didn't throw it on the car, but could you imagine that? That'd be kind of cool. Um, and I know that probably won't be good for inspection reasons, but uh, man. Um, I know melons are definitely not safe when Ross Chastain's winning races, but um, heck, if you guys were at this race, guys, feel free to let me know how that experience was. I mean, I'm hoping next year I'm going to be able to experience a Ross Chastain win because, uh, heck, you know, um, I did get annoyed with him but sometimes, I mean, because, you know, he got into it with some of my drivers, like, you know, I'm looking at the Dover incident with Truex, but you know, at the end of the day, man, Ross Chastain just has guts. He, he has some guts, man, and he's probably actually an aggressive driver that I actually do not mind, um, even though I don't really like any other aggressive drivers like Kyle Busch or Joey Logano, but Chastain, it's kind of a love-hate relationship. I kind of like the guy because, you know, I'm glad he's finally finding some good success now in his career because, um, you know, we, we, he's been in the sport for quite a while, but he's finally now got his limelight in the Cup Series. Um and this year, man, I, I just cannot believe that this guy was a final four in the NASCAR Cup Series. Um, just absolutely just amazing, man. But, um, yeah, I pretty much am going to wrap it up right here. As you can see right there, we do got a little bit of a uh, di uh, little bit of, a, of an axle error right there. So hopefully the tire won't fall off. Otherwise, that would be, a, you know, a four-race suspension for the crew chief. <laughs> but feel free to comment below if you have anything to share about this diecast. As I'm going to go and wrap it up for you guys because I don't have a car to bear this to. And I want to keep you guys waiting any more longer. So hope you guys enjoyed this diecast review of the Ross Chastain 2022 be a Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 1LE4 uh, Trackhouse Racing the Talladega raced win uh, come like subscribe this has been OBB hope you guys are ready for some more next gen reviews and classic reviews because heck we got a lot more to review and um, stay tuned for the Coda win very soon and until we meet again I will catch you guys next time on another future NASCAR Diecast review